It's a new week and this means it's time to forget the past and move on from the hurts, failures and any other thing that's holding you back. Search forward, live your life, live your dreams and be victorious. I hope you're excited to be watching Joy News Interactive with me, Mapito CBD. The show is also live on DSTV channel 421 and Go TV channel 144. On WhatsApp, we are 055-815-7074. On Facebook and Twitter, it's Joy News on TV. So today our motivational video of the day is a different kind of motivation. It is something that really inspired me and I thought I should share it with you. Let's watch together. So for those that didn't understand, in that video was a Bachelor of Laws graduate, Mr. Njabul Ndombela, honoring his great-grandmother, Nomkiki Lezo Ndombela, by bringing her on stage to share this special moment with him. I think we can all take life lessons from this, that he's being proud of who he is and where he comes from. As you can see, like the video showed that he's wearing his traditional Zulu attire, and it also serves as a reminder to never forget where we come from. And honestly, I found that inspirational, and that's why I thought I should share it with you guys and now moving on to the national health insurance scheme which uh, would from 1st of May 2018 kickstart a pilot project to include family planning and its service in six selected municipalities and districts across the country for valid NHIS sub subscribers the introduction of family planning onto the scheme is that is in collaboration with the Ghana Health Service as part of efforts to reduce maternal and infant mortality unwanted pregnancies and abortion among the the youth which mostly led to school dropouts and health complications so we posted this on Facebook and we want to find out what your thoughts are on this what do you make of this let's go to Derm Der Simone who says it's not a priority now accessibility of the scheme is what we should tackle now make sure it's accessible to all especially the vulnerable uh, children women uh, poor etc Briar Jeremiah says it's a good move and uh, it came at the right time. It is in line with the plan to reducing streetism. I wish them well for successful implementation of the program. Let's see if we can go to Papa Anki who says it's great, but they really have to educate people on it because people have very weird perception about it, even the educated ones. If not, it will just be on paper. And Asuma Press says, Good initiative, but you can't get new NHIS card as it is now if you don't have it early. It's a shame for onto those super incompetent governments. Okay, Prince Nuruddin Baumia says it's a nice move that seeks to ease the financial burden of Ghanaians, most especially those in the rural communities. Millie Ann comes in to say that it will be great. People, especially those in the rural areas, can now afford with no or less complaint in terms of money. Valanio Akatia comes in to say that it is a good policy and I hope it will be successful. And Prince Jacob Sina says, fine, but we need to intensify sex education of our populace. So the government should look at the 
disparity of service providers and some do not have basic drugs in there and so subscribers are asked to buy almost every drug. Nana Odro comes in to say that good governance with good policies and Grace Tracy says this is a good move. Now, India's cabinet has approved the death penalty for pedophiles who rape children under the age of 12. Some Ghanaians think this should be done in Ghana too. So I want you to know, do you side with them? Do you think... family matter. Papa Wonky comes in to say that yes but with caution since we live in a country where people can easily frame people up for reason best known to them and Prince Nuruddin Baumia says that's one of the stern measures to combat against rape. I endorse it. Balanya Katia says oh my oh my world may God bless that president such a law is needed in Ghana. Sana Mohammed says it's supposed to be so in Ghana too, but then the issue needs to be investigated before the punishment. And Stanley Airwalk says no, for even our own wives can charge you for rape a thousand times no. So Stanley Airwalk doesn't agree with that law. And Wilson Coffee Mensa says the age limit is too low. And Nana Ni says, of course, yes, it should be implemented here in Ghana too. And Chanya Witan says, you will see what is what is what is amazing if you can see the sky. It is what your good luck. I don't think I understand that comment, but Ni Klu comes in to say that absolutely, but only if the person is fully guilty. And Boo Dennis says, hmm, they can exaggerate if implemented. And Mike, Mike, Mike says, let's join hands and stop rape. So those are some of your comments on Facebook. We all need a dose of inspiration, don't we? Uh, well, it appears even the big women do. Here's an interview I had with EC Chairperson Charlotte Say after she was honored at the Glitz Award for Excellence in Governance. Talking about inspiration, one woman that inspires you and why? There are a lot of women who inspire me in Ghana. And, um, especially if you go to the markets. Those women overcome major obstacles and challenges to get food stuff to the market early in the morning. They inspire me. Um, there are a lot of young women now in Ghana who are doing amazing things, building global brands. Claudia Luma is an example. Um, there's um, Trudy Arnold. There's um, Renee Q. And I have a lot of admiration for them because they show a lot of grit. Um, Aisha Obobi, now Aisha Yensu, they show a lot of grit. And they don't focus on the challenges, they focus on the possibilities. And they just keep going. So those women inspire me. And of course, as a woman, to get to where I am, I stand on the shoulders of a lot of women who have gone on before me. Whether as lawyers, whether as... I found a lot of inspiration from female lecturers when I was at the university. I, find, I found a lot of inspiration and I still do from my mother, who was widowed very young and had to take care of her children and didn't have the opportunities and the education that I have. So I'm inspired by, there's Auntie Alice. I'm sure every woman who braids her hair in Ghana knows Auntie Alice. For me, Auntie Alice has built such a strong brand and has trained so many other women and kept so many young girls off the streets. Wonderful there. Let's take some of your WhatsApp messages. So this one says, uh, from Uncle Maxwell says, so the NDC is cry crying over this. Very simple. Nana Ado should sack the 629 workers that were employed by the dead goats to reduce the numbers. We are tired of the thieves. All right. And this one is says, 
it is not necessary for us to practice family planning because even if we are less the numbers are uh, okay let me see if we can even less of our numbers of our current population our wicked leaders will never uh, leave life make life easy for us thousands of countries are twice us but still living better Muhammad uh, seeker okay so those are some of your whatsapp messages do keep them coming through we really appreciate it this one from Ben who says for the pedophiles I don't think this ultimate punishment should be adopted remember capital punishment should is wrong in and our laws and belief systems so two wrongs don't make a right Time for a breather now. When I return, we'll seek answers to when last you visited a library or read a book. Stay with us on Joy News Interactive. Moving on to something that's really exciting or that I'm excited about that today is World Book Day and it's celebrated to provide people with many ideas and plans to make them aware about the situation and conditions in the world. It's also to make the people to increase their knowledge of various things in the world which many of the people don't know. Now let's go to Facebook because I asked you when, the last when was the last time you visited the library and what is your favorite book? And why? So today I thought I should share the book that I'm currently reading. It's called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Uh, this is one of my favorite books because it opens yourself to the transforming experience of the power of now. This is Drawing is Interactive. I'm trying to get interactive with you. So this is my favorite book and this is the book that I'm currently reading. But let's go to the Facebook uh, where I asked you when was the last time you visited the library? And you said, Brian Jeremiah says, I always go to the library. And his, uh, his favorite book is Undesirable Element, uh, uh, authored by Mohamed Sulu, a Nigerian. It is all about how a rich man took advantage of a brilliant but needy young girl and impregnated her and it all became a legal battle. Hope Kenny says he can't remember but he reads often on his own and he just likes reading. He doesn't have a favorite. He reads whatever he lays his hands on. Prince Nuruddin Baumia says, I don't recall the last time I visited the library after my graduation but my favorite book is The Burning Grass. And Valanya Akatia says, oh, can I remember? it all but all the books are on website so there's no need to visit the library frequently Kojo comes to say that he chose the nails by Max Lucado who says it helps me draw closer to God it's more of a narrative you should get one Emmanuel says I don't remember the last time I visited the library but my favorite book is little by little by Mensa Ottawa check it out Motra Mohammed says the four just men says it is the best solution to social injustice and Prince Jacob says oh yeah mine is Nelson Mandela no easy walk to freedom by Walter Sisulu and this spirit the spirit in it is inspiration Romeo time changes comes in to say that the only library he visits is his phone everything I need to know is there all right and Papa Wonkin says can't really tell but I read the Bible very often and Nana is he says the Bible because it contains more than deceit and lies. So he got four replies. Let's see if we can get interesting replies there. Okay, so it's not coming, but the blessings say Anthony Robbins uh, awakened the giant within. Philip says, the last time I visited a library was 2005. That was my school library. Since then, I only borrow from my friends, not because I don't want to visit the library, but because I don't have any library where I live. Derm Derseman says, social media has taken over. Now, Wanda, most of us write and speak very bad English. Okay, so those are some of your comments there. Demni Jamal Abdul says, last week, power of failure, Charles Simmons. And Absur uh, Jackson says, do I, e do I even remember? I read online. And Eja Kofi says, library. I buy my own books and Brave Pascal says I have a library on my smartphone and Stefan Kravina says Google is bay and Malcolm said he says I never visit self. So those are some of your comments on Facebook. And that brings us to the end of our Monday edition of Joy News Interactive. I'm going to leave you with the video of the day.
this one. Fail early, fail often, fail forward. Um, you know, it's always a little bit frustrating to me when, when people have a negative relationship with failure. Failure is a massive part of being able to be successful. You have to get comfortable with failure. You have, you have to actually seek failure. Failure is where all of the lessons are. You know, when you go to the gym and you work out, you're actually seeking failure. You want to take your muscles to the point where you get to failure because that's where the, the adaptation is. That's where growth is. Successful people fail a lot. They fail a whole lot more than they succeed, but they extract the lessons from the failure and they use that the the energy and they use the wisdom to come around to the next phase of success you gotta take a shot you have to live at the edge of your capabilities you gotta live where you're almost certain you're gonna fail that's the reason for practice practice is controlled failure you're getting to your limit getting to your limit getting to your limit you can't lift that you can't do that you until you get to the point that all of a sudden your body makes the adjustment and then you can do it failure uh, actually helps you to recognize the areas where you need to evolve so fail early fail often fail forward